Hey everybody, Bub Drum here. Just wanted to show you a quick video tutorial on how to set up a music visualizer in OBS Studio. Uh, you will obviously need OBS Studio uh, to get this to work in your scenes and another application that's a music media player application called FooBar. I'll link uh, in the description below. So let's get started. Uh, first things first, you'll need FooBar, which is this. Once you download and install it, you can adjust the colors of the text, the background, the highlights, etc. But we want the visualizer, so we go to View, Visualizations, and Spectrum. It pulls up this window. Now the setup works best if you have a two monitor setup, one where you're playing your game or your actual streaming content is on, and then you can move the windows for FUBAR to your secondary monitor so it's not um, in the middle of, of anything. So. Uh, you can move these off to the side or to the bottom of that secondary monitor, but they cannot be minimized. This will not work if they're actually minimized like this. They actually have to be visible according to the operating system into OBS um, on how it sees the window capture option in your scene. So once you have that set up, um, you can play any song you like, and you'll see these bars. I have the volume turned down, obviously, but you can see the bars uh, of the uh, spectrum. So once things get louder, you can see it all fluctuates. That's fantastic. So how do you get this in OBS? Well, uh, you'll go to OBS. You will have a scene here, and you will add a window capture. I've already added it, but I'll show you where that's at. You hit the plus sign, window capture. Once you have that, you know what? Let's just do it from scratch. Just you know, let's just get rid of that window capture add it, that's fine, and we're going to choose the window of FUBAR Spectrum. So it shows you this window right here, which we're just going to move to the bottom, tuck it away. I'll move this over here. So you see this, fantastic, it's there, it's showing up, but you're like, well that's kind of ugly, I don't want this big gray window with lines on it showing every time I play music. Well, it's an easy fix. You can actually put a uh, chroma key filter on it by right-clicking and going to filters. Click on the plus sign, add the chroma key, and then what you do, under the color, your key color type, you'll select custom, then it'll give you the select color option, and then this will actually give you the pick screen color. So you'll pick the screen color of the background, which is this murky kind of grayish color I have, and you hit OK. Now you need to adjust these sliders to kind of get it where you want it. So if you adjust, you keep adjusting, you don't see anything because nothing's playing. So you don't, you won't see the bars quite yet. So let me hit the play button over here. And there we, there we go. You can kind of see a live preview of it. But you can also notice that there is some artifacting from the different markers on the background uh, that we chroma keyed out. So there's a little bit of artifacting here and it can um, cause some, some troubles with it looking smooth and clean. Again, another easy, easy way to take care of that once that's all done. So say, you, you know, we'll just blow this up real quick. So you see better, it has all these things along the side here and along the bottom. Just blown it up so you can see a better image of what I'm talking about. So you can go right click again, add another filter to it, and beautiful thing is you can just crop it right out of the um, out of the spectrum visualizer. So uh, it's on the right hand side so we'll go to the right and start increasing that and you'll notice it's starting to crop it out because we only want to get close to that last bar that's actually pulsating there. So there, that's good. And then along the bottom, we'll just increase that until we get that. That looks good to me. Let's see how it looks here. Yeah, it looks great. So you have this going, and you can go ahead and do all sorts of things with it. I'll show you what I have on my uh, starting soon, which is this right here. Pretty, pretty slick. I have the um, opacity turned down on it a little bit, so it kind of sees you kind of see the background of <clears throat> my background image through it. And I've just done a vertical flip on that 
um, on that source. So you can just go to right click on the source, which I named Spectrum, and you transform it and you just flip it vertical. So I get it going from top to bottom instead of bottom to top by default. And that is it um, for that. Now, if you want to change colors, things like that, what you can do, go back to the scene. If you change the color in FUBAR, it'll change the color of the bars here. Now, the color of the bars follows the color of text under the colors and fonts menu. So the text color is what will change the bar color. As you can see here, it's now turned orange golden, kind of what I've uh, selected there, and it's also changed the text in the application itself. So the uh, the bars of the Spectrum Visualizer follow the color of the text you set for the application. So I'm just kind of set that back a little bit. That looks about right. So that is it. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this and stop the music. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Um, if this helped you in any way or you ended up using this, uh, this method, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep tuned to the channel for any other updates or videos. Uh, appreciate you watching. Take care.